What is up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel. I just watched the brand new movie, Beautiful Boy. Beautiful Boy starring Steve Carell and Timothy Chalamet. It's a movie I have been looking forward to all year. Ever since I saw the first poster, I thought this could be a beautiful film and then a film that kind of breaks your heart. It's something that talks about addiction. We will get into it. If you guys don't know how my reviews work, I like to talk about the good, the bad, and then give you my score. I had three reviews come out yesterday. You can check all of those out. It's still technically Friday. I'm releasing this on Saturday. Regardless, let's get into the good of Beautiful Boy. So based on the best-selling pair of memoirs from father and son David and Nick Sheff, Beautiful Boy chronicles the heartbreaking and inspiring experience of survival, relapse, and recovery in a family coping with addiction over many, many years. My goodness, what a story. I'm trying to keep this review a little more serious just because of the topic at hand, because addiction, guys, even if you don't watch this film, you see it all over the news, you see it all over, you may have people that you know in your life. Addiction is a real thing. It's a serious thing. It's something that is heartbreaking. We see it at the end of this movie, no spoilers, but you know how you have the text on the end of the screen after a true story? Well, we get that, and it just kind of talks about how many people it affects every year, what you can do to stop it, or at least help stop it. It's not really something you can stop. It's just something that you can prevent from getting worse and worse and worse. And that is what this movie is about, except it stars two of the most talented people in Hollywood. My goodness, what can I say about Steve Carell? There is nothing left to be said. The guy is fantastic, and he gives a very, very strong performance here. Is it the best performance I've seen all year? No. And that's what I wanted walking into that movie theater, because Steve Carell has the range. He doesn't really get the chance to shine like I thought he would shine shine. Not saying he doesn't have crying scenes, but I wanted that one scene that swept me up and I would walk out of the theater with a tear in my eye. And while I did walk out of the theater very sad, I walked out thinking Steve Carell was fantastic. He just didn't have that one really meaty scene. And then on the other hand, you have Timothy Chalamet, one of the best up and coming actors in Hollywood. Everything the guy is in is good. I don't think he's overrated. He reminds me of a young Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling being one of my favorite actors in Hollywood. Ryan Gosling is one of those guys, you don't think about it, but once you do, you're like, oh, he was in Blade Runner 2049, and The Nice Guys, and La La Land. Oh, he's been in some of my favorite movies. Therefore, he's probably one of my favorite actors. And that is, I think, how Timothy Chalamet is going to be, and he brings it once again. You can tell his struggle. You can tell when he's going through the recovery process, how it's just bothering him and bugging him. The very, very subtle expressions on his face, even when he is sitting and thinking, the way he moves his lip. I paid attention, guys. I know he does these very subtle things, and he does it in all of his movies, and not a lot of people pay attention, but if you pay attention to what he's doing, you will be more and more impressed with him. The guy is just so good. He and Steve Carell, what a great pairing, the way they played off of each other. They are the reason this movie works. They are 1000% the reason this movie is worth watching just for their emotional interaction on screen. It is beautiful to behold. And I'm hearing a lot of people complaining about the way this film is structured. It is not told in order. It's very sporadic, and I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's just a movie that, oh, we're going to tell this story from when he's this age. I saw it like this. I saw it every time Steve Steve Carell would be in a place or look at a person or stare at a picture, he would remember something that happened in the past and then it would flash back to that scene, but it wouldn't really be a flashback. It would just kind of cut to the scene and it never gave any, oh, you're in this part of the story or you're in this part of the story. It just expected the audience to keep up. And while I've heard a lot of complaints about that style of storytelling, it didn't bother me at all. I actually think if this movie would not have been structured like that, it could have been a bit boring because there are slow parts of this film, and I'll get into it in a little bit, but without the flashing back and the flashing forward through time, I don't think it would have worked as well, so I'm glad they had that in there, and I think that's one of the other reasons why Beautiful Boy works as a film as well. It's just a beautiful film, an emotional film, it's heartbreaking, it's not necessarily one that I want to go back and watch again, but if somebody says, hey Austin, do you want to watch Beautiful Boy? I will say, yeah, I'll watch it. And just a quick note, how cool was it seeing Amy Ryan and Steve Carell back on screen if you're a fan of the office, you know their characters, they have a lot of interactions together in that show. They're back here again, they get a little moment at the end, I'm just sitting there like, oh, this is a uh, beautiful boy. 
like I said, it's not necessarily a movie that I would want to watch again. I wouldn't consider that a negative just because it's so emotional. I don't want to put myself through that. This thing took a lot out of me. It sucked the life out of me. And I'm not saying don't watch it. I think you should watch it because of those reasons, because you're going to learn a lot. You're going to see a lot. I think it's very realistic. It handles things in a way that doesn't step on the people that are going through addiction. I just thought it was nice in that way. But there are other things about the movie that I just thought could have been handled a bit better. And we're talking about the pacing. The structure was good. The pacing felt a little off at times. Some of the scenes, they would come across a little weird. There were weird transitions, not the past to future transitions. I'm just talking about normal cuts. You would be in one place and then you'd be in another place. And I'm just like, I wish we could have more of a focus. It didn't seem as focused as I think it needed to be. And there were one or two scenes where characters were interacting, but they never really came back to those interactions. And I really liked those at the beginning of the movie. I'm like, I want to see more of that. I want to see where this goes, but it never really went anywhere. I just wish they could have capped off those two characters' interactions. And last thing, I don't know if this was a theater issue or just an issue with the movie in general. The sound was muffled. The talking, the conversations, some of the music. I don't know if it was a problem with my theater. I need to see the movie again in a different theater or on television just to see if the movie was muffled because if that was a stylistic choice, I don't think I liked it very much. I need to have a conversation. If you guys have seen this movie, let me know. Was the sound weird? Because the trailers before the movie was fine. I don't really know what happened there, but it was odd and I didn't like it very much. But overall, guys, I don't want to spoil too much. Beautiful Boy is an emotional movie. It's a beautiful movie. It gets a little boring. The pacing slows down at times, and I think it might be just a tad bit too long, but I still really, really enjoyed my experience. It is a great film. It's a film that hits on a lot of different things that I think is absolutely worth watching. You won't walk out on Cloud Nine like you're going to some other movies, but that's okay. That wasn't the intentions of this film. I am going to give Beautiful Boy an 81%. Really good movie, guys. One of the better ones I've seen this year. I don't think it's going to be in that best picture talk just because some of the critic scores aren't the highest I've ever seen, but I still had a great time. Really enjoyed my experience. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to leave some comments, did you like the movie? Are you excited for it? Are you going to watch it? Do you like these two performers? Leave those in the comment section down below and like this review if you want more like indie reviews. I watched The Hate You Give this week. I will be reviewing that exclusively on my Patreon page. Be sure to go check that out. You guys are the absolute best and I'll catch you very soon.